In this lecture, I will show you how you can help with persona development. But let's first talk about what's a persona. Website or the mobile experience is central to everything. This is where most of the interactions are happening. In order for us to build that website, the first step is to understand who the users are so that the right experience can be created for those users. Persona development is a process of giving a face to that user or customer who's going to come to your site. Persona development is the responsibility of digital strategy and UX team. They will generally develop three, four personas of people who are your ideal customers. Details such as age, interest, habit, etc., are used to develop these personas. Appropriate picture of a real person and a name is also used to complete the persona. Providing such details along with name and picture invokes empathy across organization. Now everybody in the organization can really feel who this user is. It's an important aspect of developing your website. In order to create these personas, they need information about who their users are, who their customers are. They use several sources of information to help them build those personas. This is where you can provide your value using Google Analytics reports. Google Analytics has a complete set of reports under audience section. This is the information that you can provide to digital strategy and UX team to help them build their personas and validate whatever personas they are coming up with. So let's dive in and take a look at these audience reports. I'm in the Google Merchandise Demo Store. Click on the Audience menu option on your left hand side. This gives you all the information about audience, which are the users. You can see the overview report, which gives you a snapshot of user activity. Then you have information such as demographic, age and gender, interest, geolocation, their behavior, technology they use, etc. For persona development, you can use information within these reports. One of the top things in persona development is the demographic. Age and gender play a key role. So let's take a look at age. All the detailed reports in Google Analytics are arranged in dimensions and metrics. Dimensions in rows and metrics in columns. Here is the dimension which is the age and various metrics across different columns. Metrics are also divided into certain buckets in many of these reports. In this report, you have acquisition bucket, behavior bucket and conversion bucket. Acquisition bucket shows you users, new users and sessions. Behavior report shows you bounce rate, pages per session and average session duration. And then conversion which shows you e-commerce in this example, transactions, revenue and e-commerce conversion rate. As you can see here, majority of our users are in the age range from 18 to 44. 18 to 24, about 1300. 35 to 44, 1800. And 25 to 34, 3000. Rest of the age ranges are very small compared to this group. This is great information for your persona development team. This information can help them build the new personas as well as validate any personas they have already built. Next report you should look at is gender. Majority of the users are male. So you got 65% while females make up 35%. Another report that you can look at is interest. It tells you the interest of your user. Click on the overview and here are the interest of these users. Affinity category tells you which kind of users these are. For example, most of the users are shoppers or value shopper, which means they are in the market to buy products and also look for discounts. And then they are interested in media and entertainment and also technology. In market segment tells you what are they in the market for. That means what are they currently buying? All this information is coming from Google search engine 
as well as double click ad survey. So Google ties all this information from other sources to build a profile of the users who are coming on your site. So you can see they're interested in consumer electronic mobile phones. They are also looking for employment, it seems like. All this information is valuable to understand who these users are. Other categories just tell you which kind of other information they are interested in. Again, great information for your UX and marketing strategy team. Now, let's say if we have to build a persona of 25 to 34 female, you can create a segment and slice this data by that particular segment. So the segment we are going after is females in 25 to 34 age range. So click on add segment. I already have a segment here. I can quickly apply that segment, but I'm gonna show you how to build a segment. So I'm not gonna use this. Click on new segment, pick the age that you want. I'm gonna pick 25 to 34 and then the gender. I'm gonna pick female. About 8.29% of the users are females in that range. So let's go ahead and give segment a name. Female 25 to 34. You can give any name you want and click on save. Now my segment is applied and you can see these categories changed a bit. You know, technology is gone, so it seems like females are not as interested in technology as males are. So that's a great information. If we are going to create a female persona in 25 to 34 age range, that's going to be very different from a male persona. Now let's take a look and see how a male persona will look. So let's go ahead and add another segment here. And new segment, same age range, but this time a male and call it male 25 to 34 and click on save. Here you have it. Now you can see the difference in these two personas. Females right here, shoppers and value shoppers. However, males are more into technology. In market, females are looking for employment while males are looking for consumer electronic mobile phone. Great information for your persona development team. In addition, you can also use several other reports, such as geolocation. Where are these users coming from? Keep in mind, if you have applied a segment, that segment gets applied for any report that you click on, unless you clear them out. So here you have it. You can see from US and then from India. You can also look at technology, which gives you information on the browser and operating system they're using, as well as mobile reports, which give you the devices they are using. So let's go ahead and click on first technology, browser and OS. And here you have females, majority of them are using Chrome, male are also using Chrome. Now this is Google Merchandise Store. So most of these employees seem to me are Google employees and no surprise that they are using Chrome. Now let's look at the mobile devices they are using. So click on mobile, expand it, and click on devices. So that's surprising information that majority of them use Apple iPhone, not Google Pixel 2. But good information, very good information for your persona team as it contradicts what we would think of a person working at Google, right? The first assumption might be if they're working at Google, they might be using Google products. However, this tells us that majority of them actually use Apple iPhone. Now using all this information from you and other information that they have on the users, here is a persona they might develop. Here's Mike, age is 28 years old, status single, profession software engineer. Hobbies, new tech devices, active on social media, and uses iPhone. And other details as they fill in from the research they have conducted. But in this process, you have provided some critical information and made yourself very valuable 
to the digital strategy and UX teams.